you don't realize it at the moment. When you look back, you find that so much time has passed. In the blink of an eye, it has been 93 years since SBA was formed. With time come changes and growth. Back in the early years, we didn't have enough money, so we practiced out in the open. Those were the good old days. Our first goal, I remember clearly, was at the 1983 SEA Games. We were a tiny and insignificant nation, going against giants in the region. Yet, against all odds, we won the men's singles. I was so happy, it felt like nothing could bring us down. Riding on that momentum, we went on to pull off an upset over reigning world champion Itzup Sigato in the team event. Hamid and I were on the 1992 Olympics team together. That guy was insane. For most people, getting a gold medal is the peak. Then your performance starts to drop. Hamid was 19 when he won his first national champion title. And despite the odds, in the next 10 years, he went on to win another six more. I've known Zarina for a long time. Back then, who wouldn't know of her? She was the first professional female badminton player in Singapore. Our country is small, so we lack quantity, but she definitely had the quality. Once again defying all odds, she ranked third in the world at the 1994 World Grand Prix. Now, our roles are to groom the next generation of players. With each rising generation, it is important to pass down our legacy and the values we hold close to our hearts. Even though we have retired, new stars have taken our place. They are the Lo Ken Yus and the Yo Chamins of today. Don't look down on what a small country like us has to offer. It is mind over matter. We can defy the odds as long as we put our minds to it. The best testament to this statement is a pandemic. For a year, events were suspended and rescheduled as the entire world fought the COVID-19 virus. It was an emotional time. We were being deprived of something we had dedicated our lives to. Still, we remained strong and resilient, quietly honing ourselves. We were all just waiting for the day we would reach the light at the end of the tunnel. It wasn't easy to bounce back from the long break. We thought it would take years, but somehow, we managed to push past all odds. Now, the pandemic measures have loosened. Training has resumed and life has begun to return to normal. With our older and experienced trainers guiding our younger generation, we have a firm foundation and heritage. At the BWF World Championships in December 2021, Lo Ken Yu became our very first badminton world champion. Defying all odds, he smashed his way past the top-seeded Olympic champion, Victor Axelsen, and triumphed against world number three, Anders Anderson, to clinch the win. In the years to come, SBA will continue to fly the Singapore flag high, defy the odds and produce champions who can stand shoulder to shoulder with the greatest badminton players of the world. I'm Lo Ken Yu. I'm Yeo Jiang. I am Jessica Tan. I'm Barry He. I'm Jason Tate. I'm Lo Ken Hen. 